What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends Deadpool Wave Strong Guy Build-A-Figure Series Pirate Deadpool Action Figure Review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's take a close look at Pirate Deadpool. Alright, and here is Pirate Pool and just to give you a small gist of how this all came about this costume appeared in a story called surrender the booty and in there wade fakes his own death drives a car into the ocean and he sails away and becomes a pirate yep and that happened all right taking a close look at the head sculpt i gotta say it came out really good i love the tattered buccaneer hat so that looks really really cool got the skull logo right there it's really nice really nice it's tattered you know, it's a nice sculpt. You got the bandana underneath that, and it goes all around, and you see it flowing to his left. And you got, like, this pirate-like expression, so you got, like, one tiny eye, one big eye. Gotta mention the pirate hat is not removable, so that would have been cool if it was removable. And you could swap heads with other Deadpools to switch it up a bit. For the rest of the body, I really like the getup here. You got the ascot right there between his cape. The cape is all tattered, so that is really cool, and it's nice and pliable and doesn't have the stupid, you know, peg that connects to the back, so it flows freely, and I like that. Uh, you get the strap right here across his chest or torso area, and the torso area is nicely designed. You get some tattered sculpting right there around the sleeves. You get a nice design in the middle with some buttons painted in gold. You get DP designs right there. Nicely sculpted, painted in gold, so I like the touch of gold we get here. You get the arms that are Bucky Cap, so that is the same one trigger hand on the right side. And then you get a Buccaneer glove right here on the left side, so that's really cool. Nicely sculpted, you know, get a nice design. This is newly sculpted, I should say. I've never seen this piece before, and it can be removed if you pop off the hand. Uh, you can remove this piece. So yeah, got the typical Deadpool sleeve pattern, the black and the red. And going back to the torso, you don't see an ab crunch sculpted cut, and that's because it's a ball jointed waist, so how cool is that? They don't have to break up the nice sculpt on the torso here, so I really, really like that. And taking a look at the rest of the body, you get this nice long waist coat, so that's really cool, and you get some white ruffles in there, a uh, leather-like looking belt with some texture on it so that looks really cool and you get a belt buckle right there you get two guns tucked in so that's pretty cool um, they're not removable they're pliable but not removable however you do get these two sheaves on the back of the waist so that is really cool and i'll show you how to store those later when we're looking at the accessories but yeah i'm pretty pretty impressed with this scope uh, the rest is nice and pliable. You get that nice gold sculpt throughout. Looks really cool with the nice studs. And you also get some tattering sculpted on the bottom right here along the trimming. So, again, really cool. The legs are the Bucky Cap legs. Not much to them. All plain and red. So, yeah, that is pretty much your pirate pool. Next up, he comes with this really cool looking long pistol. And I like the sculpt to it. So... That is really cool. You get a brown color right there. You get some nice sculpting. You get some silver paint. And taking a look on the other side, that's how it is. And yeah, I, I gotta say, it came out nice. And then you could just place this in his trigger hand. Taking a look at the other side, yeah, it looks good. I'm surprised they didn't give him the up and down hinge. I'm alright with it. Next up, he has two long swords, and I believe this one was from Silver Samurai. And this one is a swashbuckle, and it came with Nightcrawler. So if you don't want to give this one to this Deadpool, want to give your Nightcrawler a second sword to swashbuckle with, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. And just to show you that you could plug in the swords through the sheaves right here, so I'll put the regular sword right there. Let me put the swashbuckle on the other side. Boom, there you go. And I gotta say, the tattered cape here was well thought out and well designed because... Uh, as you see here, the swords right here are sticking out, but they're sticking out through the ripped parts. So you don't have to worry about the swords being pressed in and warping them. You definitely don't want to lay this guy flat, you know, on, on the ground like that because they'll definitely warp. But yeah, I, I like that. As you can see, the sword's sticking out right there. And on the other side, 
Speaking of the cape, it is removable as well. So when you pop off the head, you can remove that. If you want to remove the straps, you can. So again, if you want to mix and match with other Deadpool parts, you can. As you see, I gave him the straps for the swords. And being armed with four swords looks pretty badass. Now to accessorize your pirate pool even further, you're going to see me use these props in my picks. So you're probably going to ask me where I got them. So I want to let you know, uh, these bomb or this bomb... The gunpowder barrel and the detonator thing. These were from the Muppets accessories. I uh, don't know which pack because I kind of like bought it from a lot on eBay. And then the Fortnite treasure chest loot. This is really cool because you can open it up, put Deadpool weapons or jewelry or whatever. So I think that is really cool. And one thing I forgot to show you in my Shikla review during the accessory segment was this right here. And I kind of saved it as a surprise because you're going to see me use this as a pick. But it's a Jeff Nato effect. <laughs> yes, this is freaking awesome. And I got this from the Storm Collectibles Chun-Li. I think the regular version or the New York Comic Con version. And yeah, it's one of her... Uh, blast effects and oh man this is freaking hilarious so in the comics he has this ability where he can you know do a tornado and Gwen Poole pretty much calls him Jeff Nato when he does it <laughs> so I think this is freaking hilarious man oh Jeff I love you you the real MVP in this wave <laughs> Also, if you have the WWE Elite Kyrie Sane figure, some of her pirate accessories should work real well with this pirate pool. Now, to cover articulation with pirate pool, his head moves that far up, so really good. It moves that far down, it moves left, right, and he has some good pivot, by the way. His arms move that far up, down, all around. You got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, you got the wrist swivel, and the wrist hinge. You got the ball jointed waist that bends that far down and probably a little more. No, I don't want to stress it, but that's really good. And it moves that far back. It swivels, pivots, and it rocks around. Uh, the legs, this is where it gets annoying. Um, because of this long waist coat, you're only going to get that much. So it's definitely going to hinder the articulation a lot. His legs only move up that far. Very, very poor. And back, yeah, you're not going to get anything out of this. It was definitely challenging for me to kind of move them around. It's just, yeah, it wasn't fun being limited. It rocks around. You got the thigh swivel, double jointed knees, definitely no heel to the booty. And then you got the calf swivel. His ankles move up that far, down, all around ankle pivot. Really hate how the serial number is visible right there in front of our face. I hate that. Now for some comparisons, here he is next to Madcap. Here he is next to Shauna the She-Devil. Here he is next to Lady Deadpool and Suited Deadpool. Here he is alongside other different Deadpools. And as you can see, after the Deadpool from the Juggernaut wave, Hasbro's been consistent in keeping the red paint across all their Deadpools. And finally, here he is next to his fellow wave mate, Jeff the Baby Landshark. And now for my on-the-shelf segment, here is Pirate Pool in my Deadpool display. And now now to wrap things up, my final rating is a 6 out of 10. I'm going this low because of how bad the articulation is on the legs. Everything is hindered in a bad way where it takes the fun out of posing. You barely get any range or movement to the point it feels non-existent. However, where it lacks in the legs, the newly sculpted parts make up for it. The ball jointed waist is impressive and reminds me of what we get from the Epic G.I. Joe Classified series articulation. The head sculpt is great with the pirate hat and goes along very well with the tattered cape. The accessories are cool. We get three in total with two swords and a new gun. I need this Deadpool in my collection as it's Deadpool. He's in my top three favorite Marvel superheroes and I want every Deadpool version Hasbro makes. I will say I had so much fun photographing this figure that I wanted to do more but I couldn't because of how restricted he is. I did the best I could so I hope you enjoy the pics. At the end of the day you're either going to like it or dislike it. So now I kick it back to you guys. What do you guys think of this Deadpool figure? What over the top Deadpool version would you like to see next in the Legends line? I'd be down for a panda pool if they can get an Ursa Major bath out of it. Comment below, let me know. That was my review. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends Strong Guy Wave at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. Check out my website, xmanny87.com to view my photo gallery. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace. Mm -hmm.